Hello, good afternoon. Today we will be making a outer tapered wing. So, an outer tapered wing means yung outer side ng wing is tapered, but yung nakabit sa fuselage is hindi tapered. So, you get your rib and you make a reference geometry. And basically, kung gaano kadami yung rib na kailangan mo, yun lang ilalagay mong kadami ng plane. Then after, you just copy yung sketch and you convert. Then after, you extrude. Kapag na-convert entities nyo na yung sketch. So, magtataka kayo bakit 5 lang ang short naman for the wing. Because ito ay uh, outer tapered wing. Which means, yung 6 to the last rib ko, dun ko siya iti-tapered. Here, gumawa lang ako ng bilog. So, I can make the ailerons. I can place them later. So, yan lang yung parang boundary niya. And here, I am making the... So after that, I hid the other planes and other sketches para mas madaling tignan. Nag-adjust lang ako based from my measurements. Then, kinapi ko siya. Ginawa ko muna, nilagay ko yung dulo. Tapos, paglagay ko ng dulo, skinnail down ko siya. You scale all. And, yung pivot point ko is the front eye beam. Yung center nun. So, here, I computed a number. Then, after that, I tried plotting it. So, medyo fail. So, I tried again. And there, uh, tinignan ko if sakto na yung measurements ko. So far, I think it's good. So, I settled with that. After lang nun, I tried making a lofted base. Just to check if it will be okay. So, in this part, actually I forgot yung I-beam nung kabilang dulo. Naglagay lang ulit ako ng reference geometry and uh, nag-input lang ako nung I-beams lang mismo. Just the I-beams. So, I deleted them all. Tinira ko lang yung I-beams. Then, after, in-extrude ko siya. Hindi ko siya kailangan i-lofted kasi nga, straight lang naman siya. It's not tapered. So, easily extrude that. Yung sa other half, yun yung magiging tricky. So here, in-extrude ko siya. Well, I am extruding it. Papunta na sa wing. Kasi last part na siya. So, hindi ko na siya i-out of the page. Gagawin ko na siyang into the page. There. And same thickness. Now, Nakita nyo yun, it it's thin. So, if it's thin, or meron tayong thin region, ibig sabihin, meron tayong na left out sa sketch na hindi natin na scale. Later on, you will see kung ano yung problem. So here, I am just adjusting yung nasa main. So 
So here I am just using lofted base and you can see nag twist siya. So just move the green, the green dot para hindi siya mag twist. And there we have the lofted lofted wing. And after done, we will copy just the sketch and we scale it up upwards naman kasi kinakopy natin yung pinaka tip. Scale it by the factor na makukuha niya rin dun sa sa kinumpute niya. And yung center niya lagi magiging dun sa eye beam kasi dun 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 yung center nung ano eh nung scale. Para pag nag para pag lumaki siya, yun yung reference point. And there I made some mistakes. So be careful when using scale kasi kapag in-input mo yung value, lumalaki siya kaagad. So I had some errors nga because of that. But anyways, eventually nakuha ko siya. You can check by viewing. May kita niyo if sakto yung rectangle, yung eye beams dun sa kabila, sa front and back. If hindi pa siya ganun kasakto, you scale it up more hanggang sa makuha niyo yung tamang equation in there. Mukhang okay siya, 'di ba? So another thing, I made a mistake na naman sa dulo. Hindi na naman ako na nasama. That's why nagiging thin. Parang thin feature siya. Kakantay ng thin feature. Ba? Kahit anong scale ko ayaw niya. Kakaroon siya ng thin feature. Yeah, so So, make sure na nasa mid-plane siya. And, at that point, nakita ko na, okay, yung dulo, hindi nakascale. So, I repeated it ulit. Kasi kailangan, kaya siya nagkakaroon ng thin feature automatically. Kasi it means na, your figure is not closed. So, you need to close the figure para kapag in-extrude mo siya, available yung hindi thin feature. Okay? And here, nagkocompute lang ako. And here, ay, nakuha ko na yung, since nakuha ko na yung scale, I just input it. And so far, accurate naman. Yeah, sumasakto naman siya, so hindi ko na binago. Simply extrude mid-plane. Then, okay. Repeat nyo lang hanggang makarating kayo dun sa dulo. Basically, you convert the sketch, convert entities, then delete the sketch dun sa specific plane. And there we go. So, ito, in adjust ko lang to mid plane to make it more uniform. So, here, now I'm going to make yung ailerons natin. So, hindi ko siya na-account at first, but then, nagbago na lang ako ng reference geometry. As you can see there, hindi siya, hindi siya accurate at that. So, ang ginawa ko, I just made another reference geometry, then sketch ulit.
first, I am going to detach yung ailerons natin. Yung dulo ng rib natin, hindi ko sinama kasi doon magkoconnect yung pipe na magmove sa ailerons. So, yung nasa gitna lang nung first rib and yung tip na rib, yung sineparate ko yung ailerons. So here, basically, nag-convert entities lang ako and tinira ko yung semicircle and yung circle. So I have a reference point for my lofted cut and merong reference point for my um, lofted base. As you can see, I'm trying to do my lofted cut. However, hindi siya ganun ka okay. So, I made a new circle. Inadjust ko siya. Did you see the errors there? Hindi siya sakto. Hindi siya ganun ka sakto, di ba? So, nag-restart ako. This time, nilakihan ko yung semicircle. May value yung semicircle. May thickness siya. Hindi lang siya basta semicircle. Eh. Para siyang letter C. Pero may value yung gitna. Para naka-bold siya. Ganun. So, tansyayin nyo lang. And, nung tinry ko siyang i-loft, Make sure na yung green katama and there. Ayta nyo it it's detached na. So, eto naman I am trying to make yung gas tank natin. So, first thing here, wag lang kayong mag basta mag extrude out of nowhere. It's what I did, and it's wrong. Ganyan kasi mayayari if mag extrude ka kaagad eh. Here, I'm thinking of going for loft, lofted base para mag-curve yung fuel tank ko. However, at the end, you will see na hindi siya nag-work out. If ever this video helps you, please subscribe. It will be a great help sa akin. So here I'm trying the lofted base. Hindi siya okay. So please don't make this mistake if you are watching this one. So ginawa ko. Nati ko siya sa dalawa. I think. The long rectangle. In that way, magkaiba yung sizes niya. So that's what happens kapag hindi kayo nag-extruded cut. Okay? Nagmukhang ganun. So ang pangit niya, di ba? Hindi siya okay. So... What you need to do here actually is mag-extrude kayo. Pero, wag nyo itotodo dun sa point para ma-extrude nyo siya. Huwag dun sa mismong intersection. Maglagay kayo ng konting space para sa inner lang siya, yung, ex yung extruded cut. Then, siya kayo mag-extrude ng panibagong square. One big square and one small square. Well, hindi talaga siya square. But... Here, I'm using fillet 
to adjust para mag-round yung edges niya there and basically here I am just making yung uh, open yung pagbubuksan na ng ng tank I just made sure na hindi siya umbok para kapag nilagyan ng skin hindi aangat yung yung lalagyanan then here I'm trying to curve uh, I'm doing as much as I can to imitate yung lalagyanan nung gas well yung takip niya rather so there we go simple lang diba Please subscribe guys and leave a like and leave a comment if ever you're encountering problems. Thank you for watching.